वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्तबिंद समीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंदसहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोद गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदन मनोहर वाछा कल्पतरु वैश्य के पास सिंधु व्यवश पति पावने भवैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुकती वाचाल पंगुंगल हैतिगिरी यत्कि पातम हंग बंदे परमाधव बृंदा वै तुलसीदेव तो वै पिया वै केशवश्च स्नभक्तिपदेवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुंच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र से प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति भक्ति प्रमदाक्ष जगोदरुण ध्यय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम वेतात्म पनुतपाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुषते चरणारिंद यत्दपल्लवन खचंदमनी छटाय विस्फुरीजीत किमी गोपवधूषर्शि पूर्णागरसागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा किं कौश श्रीकृष्णचैतन्य प्रभुनिंद श्रीअदैतगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्रीकृष्णचैतन्य प्रभुनिंद श्रीअदैतगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कपितरो कमलायताक्ष विश्वाबर द्विजर जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत्प्रिय करो करुणाभतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरबंदि तो दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दासी नित्यम भावान्ेन्न सदा नरा गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषि तबाम भाग नारायणो प्रिय मनंग मदापहारम वरानसी पुरापति भज विश्वनाथ वागीशजुष वदने लक्ष्मीजस् वक्षसी यस्ते हृदय संबीर्सिंह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जैसे भक्तिर्भगवती अकंचना सर्वगुण स्तत्रो क्षमा सती सुरा हरो अभक्त शकुतो महदगुना मनोरथेन असतो धवतो वै 
जस्यास्ति भक्तिर भगवती अखिंचन सर्वगुण स्तत्र सतीसुरा हरो अभक्त कुतो महदगुण मनोरथे न सतो धवतो वही गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठगर पोपान जगदगुरु टोल नथिंग मोर अस्पीशियस दैन गुरु सेवा गुरु वैष्णव सेवा गुरु वैष्णव सेवा इज टॉपमोस्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ अवर लाइफ बिकॉज बाई द हेल्प ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव सेवा वी कैन एटेन सक्सेस इन अवर लाइफ गुरु वैष्णव इज अ लिविंग सोर्स ऑफ हरि कथा वेरी ऑफ एन प्रोपद यूज टू से यू विल हैव टू अप्रोच अ जेन्युन सोर्स ऑफ हरि कथा यू विल हैव टू अप्रोच अ जेन्युन सोर्स ऑफ हरि कथा आई मीन द लिविंग सोर्स लिविंग सोर्स मीन आचरण वाट स्पीकिंग डूइंग नॉट दैट ओनली पासिंग लेक्चर एंड फॉलोइंग नथिंग नॉट दैट Guru Vaishnav is a living source in this world. We cannot understand where is Bhagavan. We cannot see Bhagavan with his eyes. We can see Guru Vaishnav. We can hear Guru Vaishnav. Bhagavan not coming to talk with me. Bhagavan not going to give me that facility, that kind of facility at present. Bhagwan going to manifest by the help of Guru Vishnu. Krishna se tomar Krishna dite paro, tomaro shakti achi. Krishna is yours. You can give Krishna to me. That's why I pray to you. I serve you. That is the mood. So Guru Vishnu is the living source of Hari Katha, and Hari Katha mean Bhagwan. Guru Vaishnav is the living source of Hari Katha, and Hari Katha is identical with Hari. Hari Katha is identical with Hari. You cannot get success. You cannot get success if you can realize this point. The day you can realize, the day you can realize the Hari Katha and Hari non-different from each other. The day you can realize the bani sharup of Guru Pad Padma, then you can come out successful. Not before that. Otherwise, you can. So many people coming to do dham parikram. So many coming to get good association, honest association, sadhu sangha. So many people coming to hear Hari Katha, take Mahaprasad in Dhamma. They are all doing, taking bath in Ganga. That Ganga is not ordinary. If you take bath in Haridhar Ganga, and if you take bath in Navadip Ganga, there is a heaven and hell difference. Because this Ganga, Ganga stream, Ganga there, Ganga coming. And here, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu doing lila, taking bath. So in contact with Navadivda, same thing. I can come. This point, eleventh of this month, same Baranasi there. But more important, more important than Baranasi. So this way. Bhakti Murtha was speaking, so many people coming to do parikram, so many people taking prasadam, doing sadhu sangha, tilak mala, taking shelter of some guru path, but who can say? Who is going to take shelter of whom? But still, they are not making any progress in their bhajan. But still, they cannot make any progress in their bhajan. 
Bhakti Mahatma Prabhu speaking, what can be the reason? So many people used to come to Guru Path Padma in old age. They used to put this question. We are doing so many things. But why one why we cannot make any progress in bhajan? Sila Sachidanda Bhakti Mahatma speaking, knowingly, unknowingly, we are doing some aparat. Knowingly, unknowingly, we are doing some aparat. Unto the lotus feet of Bhakti Devi, Mahaprasadam, Dhamma, Harinam Prabhu, we are doing aparat. Knowingly, unknowingly. Knowingly, unknowingly, we are committing aparat unto the lotus feet of Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan anyway. We are doing all. That's why we cannot make any progress. That's why we cannot make any progress. We are making some progress, but again doing some aparat. Follow. We are making some progress, positive, and then doing some negative aparat coming down. Again, little progress, again down. Like, you know, in a small childhood, we used to play Ludo. You know Ludo? You don't know. There is one game, like chess, you know, small boys playing. One in a round, you know, some object is there, you will have to move forward. There is so many snack. So many snack there. So you are making progress from one, you start from zero, you start one, you, there is one chakka, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, this guti, marking. If you throw this, you know, ball, if you're going to six, six, then you have to make progress. This way, six means you are making progress. And if you are anyway, unluckily, going to touch the mouth of snack, then you can come to the tail. You are making progress, sizable progress. You are making sizable progress. You are making sizable progress. But just, you know, two mark, two number. If you put two, then you can come out successful. In the meantime, if you play, there is one. That means the you know, mouth of snack, then you can come to zero again. Follow. Like in competitive exam, like in competitive exam, suppose there is 100 marks. At present there is competitive exam everywhere, in service field, in competitive, you know, anywhere. Competitive exam. There is 100 marks. Each mark bearing Two, each mark bearing two mark. I mean, there is 50 question, each bearing two marks. If you are successful, you can get 100. And if you are going to make 50% correct, I mean, there is 50 question. Out of that, you are going to tick mark. You are making 25 answer okay. But 25 answer wrong. So you are going to get 25 minus 25, zero. Follow what I say. You are giving answer 25 marks okay. You are getting 25 marks. But what to say? You are going to make wrong 25 marks again. 25 question, obje objective question wrong. So again, 25 marks you are getting. And my, uh, I mean, 50, uh, no, minus 20. Ah, 25 question, 25 question. You are making 25 question right, 25 question wrong. That means you are getting 50 marks minus 50 marks, zero. This is our condition. If we cannot give total unto the lotus veil of Guru Path Padma, not a matter of joke. I am not joking with you. Maybe you cannot like, you can like, you cannot like, that's up to you. But be sure, until and unless you are successful to give 100% to Guru Path Padma, you'll have to give 100% to Guru Path Padma, Shad Guru, then you can get success. 
मानस देहो गेहो जो किश मोरो और पिनु तुआ पदे नंद किशो यू नो 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 कीर्तन लाइक डम्प एंड डेप सिटिंग हलो मानस देहो गेहो जो किछ मोरो और पिनु तुआ पदे नंद किशोर वेरी नाइस कीर्तन You have to do kirtan. All I have, he Nanda Kishor. I am going to he Gaur Kishor. I am going to give everything unto a lotus feet. The only property I want, that is your lotus feet. The only property I want is your lotus feet. I want to understand the utility of Gaur Charan. I want to understand the utility of Guru Charan, but I cannot do. That is why I, I cannot make any progress. You know. Prabhu speaking, according to the proportionate, according to the proportionate, according to the ratio of your submission, according to the proportionate. According to the ratio of your submission unto the lotus feet of Guru Padma, you can get benefit. According to the ratio of your submission unto the lotus feet of Guru Padma, you can get benefit. Accordingly, you can get benefit. Otherwise, not. So nobody like to give everything to. Guru Vishnu, they like to reserve something personal. Papa speaking. Papa speaking. Those who like to reserve some personal right, with them I have no connection. I also have no connection with them. Papa speaking. Those who are going to demand, I have some personal right. You are guru, okay. Regarding spiritual matter, I can submit. Regarding other matter, legal matter, regarding you know, financial matter, why should I? Idiot number one. He should be beaten with chapel. You know, idiot. Don't understand Guru Tattva. Foolish number one. Who is going to speak? I have my personal life. Who are you? Regarding spiritual matter, I can consult you. Regarding matter. Med Illegal matter, illegaling, you know, my finances. Why should I consult you? You have no idea. That is called material tattva, not guru tattva. My guru tattva has no idea about English. Idiot number one. This is not guru tattva. Actually, my guru tattva, my guru bhagwan tattva, has no idea about English. My guru bhagwan do not know physics, chemistry, mathematics. This is not Guru Darshan. This is not Guru Darshan. This is a idiotic Darshan. It's not Guru Darshan. If I accept my Guru Padma, I should realize. Yes, he is a realized soul. Krishna is there inside his heart. He is going to confine Krishna inside heart. So, if he is going to know Krishna. If he is going to know Krishna, that means no shortage of knowledge. Follow. If he, if my Guru Padmanabha is is going to confine Krishna inside heart, that means he knowing Krishna. Jai Jan Krishna Vetta, Krishna Tattva Vetta, say Guru. My Guru Padmanabha is vast, total aware about Krishna, his desire, like and dislike, everything. So how I can say he has no knowledge about English mathematics because Krishna is the source of all knowledge. Krishna is the source of all knowledge. So if my Guru Maharaj is knowing Krishna, that's why he is knowing everything because Krishna is the source of infinity world, source of everything. So how I can say he has no knowledge about Krishna, anything mathematics, physics. Directly, indirectly, my Guru Maharaj knowing everything. Many time before, I wanted to discuss this point. 
if you ignore this point, hundred percent you can fall down. If you ignore this point, what is that point? That if you are going to accept one Guru Path Padma, try to understand. If you want to accept one Guru Path Padma, you accept. You have some question. You are going to put question in front of Guru Path Padma. Guru Path Padma cannot give answer to you properly. Then you can express doubt. Follow. That's why many times he told you foolish, you cannot you know, give concentration. You cannot give concentration, you forget. That if Guru Pat Padma cannot break my ignorance, if Guru Pat Padma is unable to erase the screen of ignorance in my heart, then I cannot develop bhakti. I cannot. Big problem. Tad vijyanartham sa guru me bhavi gachet. Samit pani sautyam brahmanishtham. Before taking shelter, with long deliberation, I have to pray to Nityananda. Prabhu, I don't know who is guru. I have no knowledge. Please you guide me properly, like in my life. In my life, repeatedly I pray to Bhagavan. I don't know who is Guru, where is my Guru? You please guide me, otherwise I can be cheated. Nityananda Valaram, guide me. This is your Guru. Directly. In Vrindavan, I am doing parikram with some devotee, Goryama devotee. I am habituated to enter into bookstall to check up from. It is my habit. I take one book, magazine this, and I find the picture of Guru Pat. Yes, my Guru Pat. I get my Guru. Okay. I don't know he's uh, he is already there or gone from world. I don't. This is my Guru. I get it. Hundred percent. Point out. This is my Guru. I get. Okay. Finish. Problem. So you will have to approach a Guru. Shamita Pani Shautiyam. Samitopani mean for the Jagya Guru Maharaj is going to do for me to enlighten the knowledge, fill flame and knowledge inside me. I have to carry some wooden piece. It means Samit. Like in Jagya, there is some special leaf, and you have seen in you know, so wooden piece is called Samit. Samit means you cannot go free hand. You'll have to carry some samit. Samit means you'll have to offer the wooden piece or leaf in the fire. You can hand over to Guru Padma, Guru Padma. That means your submission. That means your submission. You'll have to offer. Samit Pani. Empty hand you cannot go. Empty hand you cannot go. You have to carry some samit. So that you can offer this summit to Guru Padma, Guru Padma can offer in fire for you. To enlighten the fire of knowledge inside your heart. Follow. So that also you can give fire to somebody. Chain wise. Follow. Chain wise. One torch is there. I have. You are going to take the flame for me. You are also getting the same torch to show light to others. Others. So Samitapani Sautyam. Sautyam min Sautyam min whether he is in Guru Parampara line or not, be careful. He should not have any prejudicial idea. He should not have any prejudicial idea. Your mind should be free to accept the absolute truth. The you know. The dignity of Guru Pat Padma depends upon one factor. You will have to watch. He is in line with our Guru Parampara or not. Or he is making some separate rules and regulations. If he is going to make some separate rules and regulations, Siddhanta all wrong. He is going to ignore previous Guru Vargo. 100% you think he is a fallen soul. I touch, otherwise I can die. I have so confidence. Symptom. 
if I catch your pulse, if I catch your pulse, I can see where you are going, what you are doing, what is your mood. If I touch this a pulse, you can make you can make full of whole world. You cannot make full of me. You can make full of whole world. You cannot make full of me. For so long you wanted to cheat me, but now. This way, Shautyam, Shautyam, Shautyam means he is in Shauta Pantha or not. Shautyam means Shautyam means he is in Shauta Pantha or not. Or he is making some concocted philosophy in front of you to get your money, position, vote. What is this? If I have an interest for personal benefit, self-interest, I cannot speak about their absolute truth. So much attract coming from material world. If you stay with me, you can heart fail. Unnecessary. They are preaching all rubbish against me. Oh, when you fight, still I am not going to police station. Other people, if in place of other people you to kill him, but they are doing, making some group, attacking Gosala, so much problem. We cannot allow you to enter Mayapur, okay? You see? This way, threatening me. Be careful to die. Be ready to die, okay? So much threatening. But still, I am not deviated from that absolute truth. Follow. My standpoint, my standpoint, it fix. Do or die. In between, I cannot make any solution. Or do or die. In between, I cannot make any compromise or solution. Unnecessarily. Making group, preaching, mara, cheetahs, money. This way. Going on. Again, can come. Attacking. This way, all problem going on. So what it concerns to me? I have no tension, nothing. If you take everything from me, even this bag, I can take coffin and go to Vindavan and do bhajan leave body. I have no headache. Because I have no interest to make a disciple, to go to foreign country, make money. I am not inviting you. You all coming at automatically. I never invite. So, Srautiyam means Shautyam men, Shautyam men is in Guru Parampara Sautopantana, Brahmanistam. Brahmanistam men, Brahmanistam men, he has tremendous love for Brahma. Shabdi Parechan Isnatam. Evening time I can discuss in Hindi Katha. Shabda Brahma Parabrahma. Parabrahma means a direct realization of my seva. I love my Prabhu Nityananda Gauranga or Radha Gavindo. I have my direct realization about that seva. I should realize, I should understand how I can give how I can give topmost satisfaction, maximum most satisfaction to Radha Gavindo or Gaur Gadhar. If I don't have knowledge, how I can give? So, Sabde Parechan is not a man. Sabde Parechan is not a man. Sabde Parechan is not a man. Sabde Parechan is Both in Sabde Brahma and Parabrahma. If I have a less knowledge in Sabde Brahma, then I cannot solve your problem. You can put question in front of me. If I cannot solve your problem, you can express doubt. I am coming a long way from this, this, spending so money, I am not getting anything. But idiot people outside, they only want to get nice accommodation, nice tasty prasadam, glamour, position, this. If you need Bhagavan, if you need Bhagavan, then you can come to me, otherwise you can go away. I permit you can go away. Only and only, only and only if you need Bhagavan, then and only then you can come to me. 
Otherwise, don't waste my time. You can go away. I permit you. So what you need, first of all, you finalize in your life. Try to think over and again. You talk with your yourself what you want. Idiot, what you want, you ask. Money, position, enjoyment, or Bhagavan, what you want. First of all, try to realize. You sit in your room, alone, close the room. <laughs> and try to finalize what you want. If you can make a final decision that you need Bhagavan, then you can come to me. Follow. In front of Pope are somebody coming. After a long time they are speaking, we are we are losing everything. They are putting allegation against Popat. We are losing everyone, not getting anything. Those who are coming to Bhakti Vidya Madhuga I heard directly, my life is spoiled, I can come, I come to Gauriya Mate. He's speaking. He has done so many Bani Seva, these, that, proof correction, so many, I can say, so his name. Bhakti Vidya Madhuga, come on, Bhakti Vidya Madhuga his disciple, old disciple, now 75 or 80, I heard him speaking, my life is spoiled in Gauriya. Spoiled, he cannot speak. Quail. He cannot pronounce spoiled. Hello. He cannot sp pronounce spoiled. He is speaking quail. So idiot people coming. Follow. I can show you later. Some idiot. They are, they are now charging me. My life is already spoiled when I come to in contact with you. I am very, very happy. I can touch your lotus feet to beg for pardon. They are speaking. This way going on situation. Total destruction. Total destruction. Nobody can come in favor of me. They are going to add some fuel in fire. They say the man is mad. Okay, they can put some fuel. Okay, go and charge. This is the condition. This is the condition of this present you know, spiritual, you know, bhajan life. <laughs> anyway, Popa speaking, if you are going to reserve something for your personal end, then I am not going to, I am not going to take your responsibility. Because, what to do? This way, Thousands of people. This way, thousands of people coming in bhajan. And they are fall down. They are already fall down. Where to go? Fall down mean and ground. Ground from where to go? Fall down. So, very important point this is. Shabde Parija Nishnatam. Shabda Brahma. <coughs> And Parabrahma. <coughs> if my Guru Padma is failure to give me answer to my question, then I can grow some doubt inside my heart. Jiva Goswami writing, there is big problem. So before taking shelter, you can think over and again. You can pray to Nithyananda Balaram. Because originally Nithyananda Prabhu was going to guide me to get to, to take the shelter of Guru Padma. It is the responsibility of Nithyananda. It is not your headache. It is not your headache. It is not your headache. It is the headache of Nithyananda. Only the thing you will have to show your hundred percent sincerity. That you cannot show. That you cannot show, I know. That is your responsibility. All the responsibility always. I am making the background about one gigantic personality, great devotee, Srila Bhakti, Vivek Bharti Goswami Maharaj. 
if he is going to sit in one place, not, not speaking Harikatha, follow. Only he is going to, going to sit in front of you. Only if he is going to sit in front of you, you can feel some reaction inside of That is called Vaishnava. That is called Vaishnava. Only a pure Vaishnava, only in front of you, are sitting and looking at you. That is all satsanga. Is looking, if you look at his eyes, you can understand like fire. So acharan, powerful. So, if, if you look at Vaishnava, Bhakti Tagu writing, if a Vaishnava is not going to speak anything, maybe no time, I don't feel necessary to speak with you, only his darshan can make it pure. Give some. Like Bhakti Pramod Puri Gosha Guru Maharaj. Any foolish people, material people coming in front of him, paying down to Hare Krishna speaking. Hare. He is not speaking, he speaks Hare Krishna. He never, his forefather, father, forefather, his father, forefather, they never speak Hare Krishna. When they are coming, Hare Krishna. And a Krishna Nam coming. It is called Mahabhagavat. It is a symptom of Mahabhagavat by looking, by looking him. Automatically, Krishnam can come. That is called Mahabhagavat. Say, is Mahabhagavat? Is Mahabhagavat? How we know Mahabhagavat? Approved by Prabhupada. Approved by Prabhupada. Prabhupada give one certificate, one written certificate. Prabhupada writing one great big certificate. It was published in Gauriya. I am endless happy. I am endless happy with this great devotee. I am endless happy. Whenever he is going anywhere speaking Harikatha, he is going to change the heart of bonded soul. That is a symptom of Vaishnava. Vaishnava going for preaching. Material people cannot go for preaching. Vaishnav can go for preaching because Vaishnav can change your heart by acharan. Preaching doesn't mean, preaching doesn't mean, preaching doesn't mean canvassing. Canvassing, you know? Eh? Some item somebody give to you, you are going to sell in the market. Canvassing. Oh, my you know, toothpaste is very good. If you use this, no. It's called canvassing. It's called canvassing. So preaching is not canvassing. You confuse. Your society confuse. Your previous, you know, parampara, your parampara in your society misguiding you. You are not connected with original parampara. That's why you misguided. Preaching doesn't mean canvassing. Preaching means to distribute kippa. If you don't have kippa yourself, what you can give to me? Preaching men, preaching men, distribution of kippa. What, what preaching you can do? If you have no kippa, if you have no acharan, nothing, only ba ba ba, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, like monkey, what you can do? What is the value of your Hare Krishna? What is the value? You realize what is Mahamantra? Cannot speak any Harikatha. Because Tattva Gyan is not there. Only you can memorize some philosophy. You can speak ba 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 ba. You have no realization. What you can give? This way, preaching mean, preaching mean actually distribution of Kipa. Preaching is only possible for Bhakti, Vivek, Bharti Goswami Maharaj, like gigantic song. Only is going to sit in front of you, speaking nothing. Still, you can get a big reaction inside your heart. Big reaction inside your heart. So, acharan is so important. Acharan is so important. One article published already. You read or not? Acharan is so important. 
that if acharan sil sadhu, if a, if a sadhu with gripped acharan only sitting in front of you, it can give some reaction inside your heart. It's called acharan. Not Rupshanathan not going outside to preaching in America, Russia. Jeeva Goswami Pada writes. Raghunath Das Goswami not going. Bhakti Pohant Puri Goswami and Sridhar Maharaj are not going for it. They are the topmost preacher. They are the topmost preacher in the history of Gauriya society. Topmost preacher. They are not going to foreign country. But their speech going to foreign country. So it's also preaching. They are not going to foreign go, so what? But their speech, they are writing all going. Going to change the whole world. There is no wrong Siddhanta. Popat wanted to arrange Brihad Midanga. Brihad Midanga, you know? A Midanga, if you play, the sound of Midanga can go up to 500 meters. But Brihad Madanga means Harikatha, books, everything. Brihad Midanga going all around the world, all corners in different world. Brihad Midanga. So Brihad Midanga is very important thing. Prabhupada wanted to you know, arrange Brihad Midanga Seva. Prabhupada wanted to arrange Brihad Midanga Seva. So, Brihadmikanda Bindanga Seva means all Bani Seva going all around the world. This way, Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj came unto the lotus feet of Prabhupada at the year, at the age of 26. But before that, he saw, heard about Prabhupada, hear, meet, Harikatha, everything. And father was not there, father died before. He was bound to do some service, this, that, what to do. After completing education, he was bound to do some. Because father is not there, mother is widow. And some brother is there. But anyway, he was to do some service. And on those days, on those days, it was the system. They used to arrange marriage in very small age. What to do? He was married. But still, at the age of 26, he come and submit 100% unto a lotus feet of Prabhupada. He started, you know, doing preaching, everything. He took Harinam, Diksha, everything. Everything. He's a great devotee. So such a great devotee, if I go on speaking, is really one, one incident if I speak. He is from Bangladesh, at present Bangladesh. That time not, it was not Bangladesh. That time it was not, it was India. Undivided India. So, he took birth. And most of the devotees, you can calculate all of them, most of them, they took birth in Bangladesh. Silet, Srihatta, Chattagram, Eno, Barishal, Jashur, you can calculate. Dhaka, all you can go. You can take the name of all the lists of Prabhupada. You can calculate most of them, they are from there. From that side of river. This way, he came unto a lotus feet of Prabhupada. And Prabhupada watching him. Prabhupada watching. That is the speciality of Prabhupada. That was the speciality of Prabhupada that anybody coming in front of him, Prabhupada can realize. That was the speciality of Prabhupada. Anybody coming in front of him, you can look at him, can realize what is the motive, what is the, you can make x ray, what is the quality there. And accordingly, Prabhupada used to, Prabhupada used to utilize him. Accordingly, Prabhupada used to utilize him for seva. There is a special quality. This way, Agabar Bhakti Vivek Bharti Goswami Maharaj, very shortly, he got sannyasi. Very shortly, he got sannyas. 
Papa was watching the devotee. After that, Papa took decision to give sannyas to him. Because his, because his representation is so nice, his delivery of Harikatha is so nice, that everybody feeling attraction. If he is going to speak Harikatha somewhere, they are feeling attraction. Very. One day I speak, Pohupad coming and entering to library. But in the morning time, Pohupad declare. In the morning time, Pohupad giving, in the morning time, Pohupad giving message to Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj. You can go to this place to speak Harikatha. Please, you can go. You can go and speak Harikatha in the afternoon time. So, Prabhupada entering library. After that, asking to library man, those sevak, those who are helping Prabhupada. Bhartima is already gone for preaching. Bhartima is already gone. As I told in the morning time, Yes, he gone. With which book? With which book he gone? With which book he gone? He gone with Srimad Bhagavatam. Bhagavatam? With Bhagavatam? Why? Our topic of discussion is the mercy of Gauranga. Our topics of discussion, our topics of discussion is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy. That is the main. That's why you see, Whenever I speak Harikatha all, I, round the clock, I come and touch the mercy of Gauranga Nityananda. That is called? Papa speaking, he gone already for preaching? Yes, he gone. With which book? With which book he gone? He gone with Srimad Bhagavatam. Bhagavatam. To teach us. To teach us, Papa speaking. That was wrong on the that was not wrong on the part of Bharti Maharaj, but to teach us. Bhagavatam. Because he is supposed to take Chaitanya Bhagavata, Chaitanya Chaitanya. It is our because our our topics of preaching, because our topics of preaching is to glorify, is to represent, you know. The matchless kripa, ananda kripa of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. It is our topics of preaching. So he got one this way. Most of the time, Prabhupada used to send him in local preaching and specially in the area of East Bengal. Most of the time, Prabhupada used to send him in preaching, in local preaching, and in Bangladesh, and some Midnapur place, Orissa, little bit, but most of the time in Bangladesh. Most of the time, Prabhupada used to send him in, in, you know, there in Bangladesh. Bangladesh is a different place. Joshore, Khulna, Barishal, Srihatya. Even sometime he used to take of course, after Prabhupada, I can come to the point. He used to preach mostly in Bangladesh. Bangladesh, I mean, I mean at present, East Bengal. His preaching was so effective that thousands of people, they wanted to take shelter of Gauriyamat. In spite of the fact that Gauriyamat can never make any compromise with Sahajya. Still, his preaching was so effective. Now you are giving me, you know, microphone. Now you are arranging me nice asan. Now I am grateful to you. You are arranging recorder, so many things, internet, five, six, five, six, seven channels going on. But that time, I wondered. I am a fallen soul. For me, this kind of facility. As a great devotee. No facility, only sit in asan, 
Hundreds of devotees, no microphone. Go on speaking, Harika. How you can speak? How long you can speak? So I used to sit and speak Harikatha in front of people, tirelessly, tirelessly speaking Harikatha. And his affection, only by looking at Bharati Maharaj, Bhakti, Vivek Bharati Maharaj, only looking. So tall figure, so tall figure. If you sit in front of you, na, if you sit, you can who coming? Like Prahlad Maharaj, eyes is very petal like eyes. I can show you someday picture, petal like eyes. And this, you know, latrice of I'm so sitting. Blackish, black figure, Krishna Varna. And eyes always red color, like out of prema. His eyes is like red color. Out of prema, his eyes is always red color. If you look at, if you look at Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj, you can think Pullad Maharaj coming and sitting. Pullad Maharaj also. Pullad Maharaj is not fair color. Pullad Maharaj, black, you know, shamborno. Black I cannot speak. I should not speak black. It's shamborno. Shambhavna means not white, not too much black. A well, little darkness, very bright darkness. Like cloud, new cloud, like Krishna's body. She used to speak Harikatha. And thousands of people, they started realizing that our life is very unstable, we should take shelter of Gauriamat. So much pressing. If I go to preaching field, what is my duty? My question to you, if I go to any preaching field, what do you suggest? If I go to any preaching field, what is, what is my target? To draw the attention of public unto the lotus feet of Prabhupada. Right or not? Right or not? My target is to draw the attention of public unto a lotus feet of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada, the Prabhupada. Not unto a lotus feet, my lotus feet. It is not my target. Whenever, anywhere, any Harikatha, Bengali, Hindi, English, Uri, any, you see, always my target, only my target, is that to draw your attention unto the lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Shri, the Prabhupada. It's my target. No self-interest. Srila Bharati Maharaj also used to preach Harikatha this way. Be Most of the Sahajiya, they went against Srila Maharaj. They wanted to oppose, but still, without any Without any tension, he started speaking because Prabhupada is there. Prabhupada, Bhakti Thakur, all there. I am preaching on. Many times Prabhupada used to say, many times Prabhupada used to say, if I take the risks, if I am going to take the risks to speak of my own philosophy, many times, the Prabhupada used to say. If I am going to take the risks to speak my own philosophy to you, then I am going to run a risk. Anything can happen. Follow or not, what I say. If I am going to run the risks to speak some personal philosophy to you, any problem can happen. But if I speak about Prabhupada, maybe you are speaking all rubbish against me. You are preaching against me. I have no tension because I am speaking about Prabhupada, Guru Bhargava. If they are at all going to attack me, okay, let them attack. Let me see. My Nithyananda is there or not? Balaram is there or not? Those who went against me, I touch. Almost all of them finish their life. 
Follow. One poor man I bring from home, coming, I arrange all yoga, everything. Everything. Now he like to cut my throat. Finish. All gone. Character or oh, everything gone. Now like beast. Gone. Those who went against me, their life all gone. I don't know why. I'm not worried about them. So, Popa speaking, if at all I am going to run a risk to speak my personal philosophy and Siddhanta, then it's a big problem. I'm running the risk. Because anytime problem can come. Popat used to say, if I am going to speak about, if at all I am going to speak about Popat, Bhaktivinu Thakur, Guru Parampara, I mean Sautopantha, then there is no risk. Then there is no risk. I can speak. You can show I am uh, you can show that I am speaking outside anything. You can show anything that I am speaking something outside, from outside. I'm speaking what proper. That's why they cannot attack me directly. When Prabhupada wanted to, when Prabhupada wanted to, when Prabhupada wanted to install one Gauriamat, when Prabhupada wanted to, you know, make one Gauriamat in Bangladesh, Dhaka, who can give land? Because Dhaka is a very important city. Who can give land? Somehow, Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj wanted to make a friendship. Friendship in the sense to come out successful. With material man, he cannot make any... Only he is going to make nice behavior so that he can get success in making the temple. But some people, they are going against, against Maharaj. Most of the people. Some group, Sahajiya, they are going to invite one Bhagavad reader. <coughs> Some Sahajiya going to invite some Sahajiya going to invite some nice, you know, Bhagavad reader from Santipur. Going to invite. Paying big amount of money. Follow. Big amount of money. After that, what happened? He is going to speak Harikatha. Big Harikatha going on. Most of the people going to attend that Harikatha. He is a very Renowned personality, important personality. And Bharti Maharaj is reciting Chaitanya Bhagavat with a very few people, a few, very few audience. Bharti Maharaj started speaking Harikatha, Chaitanya Bhagavat. First day gone, second day people feeling attraction for Bharti Maharaj. All those people, they could realize they are misguided. They are going to attend that Harikatha. But they are going to leave that Harikatha, coming, coming again to attain the Harikatha of Bharti Maharaj. So much attraction, like magnet. Like magnet. This way, all the time, Sila Bharti Maharaj was Bhakti, Vivek Bharti Maharaj, always successful. He has a, a nice relationship with all officials and important personality in Dhaka city. One Muslim, Officer of corporation, you know, corporation, very important officer. He is a chairman. He wanted to help Bharti Maharaj. He said, There is no land in Dhaka. So, where we can arrange you? You have a big amount of land for corporation. Big amount of land, you can give a piece of land. Corporation land is a government land, actually. We cannot give you. Anyway, let me think. Corporation land is government land. I cannot give. Well, let, 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 let me see what I do. He make a plan. He make a plan and write to government. We are lacking fund. We are lacking fund. We have so many, uh, you know, so many construction. This is a job. So useless land. That piece of land is useless. We should uh, useless. You know, like people coming and playing there. We should that piece of land useless for us. No need. 
better we can sell and get, collect some amount. Writing to government. And he is going to show the issue in the assembly. But in the assembly, those who are Hindu, some of them are going to oppose. No, government land cannot give. It's government land. How we can give? But the chairman speaking, come on. We need some part. And at all, they are going to make a temple of Gauranga. The Muslim people. Muslim chairman is speaking. Why you are you going oppose? Why are you are opposing? Gauriamad, they are great, you know, but they are going to make one temple of Gauri, Gauranga Mahaprabhu. We should help them. Why are you are going to oppose? Muslim people, they are going to support. Okay, we, we allow. But the Hindu people are going to oppose. Follow. Finally, the land was acquired and Popat was dancing. Aha, very nice. Because Sri Chaitanya Mana Bhishto. Be careful. Externally, you can find that Keshav Goswami Maharaj is not there in Chaitanya Mart. Externally. But Keshav Goswami Maharaj is going to fulfill the desire of Prabhupada. Physically, if you stay in Chaitanya Mahat, if you are going to, if you are going, if you are going to suck, if you are going to suck the blood of Go Chaitanya Mahat, that is not, that is not, that is not staying in Gauriya Mahat. That is not staying in Gauriya Mahat. Somebody can allege, oh, he is outside Gauriya Mahat. He is always in Gauriya Mahat. He is always in Chaitanya Mahat. Who told you? He is always every fraction of second staying in Chaitanya Mahat. You can open the heart and see Chaitanya Mahat sitting inside of idiot number one. You are going to put some false allegation against you. Foolish. Mayavadi. He is staying in Chaitanya Mahat. But you say outside. You think you are staying in Chaitanya Mahat? Not saying it. Because you are not going to fulfill the desire of Gauranga Mahapo. You are not going to fulfill the desire of Prabhupada. So you are not in Chaitanya. Though physically, though physically we can see you staying in Chaitanya, but not actually. According to Siddhanta, you are not staying. This way, Madhva Goryamat. This way, this way Madhva Goryamat was installed. Madhva Goryamat. Prabhupada was very happy. This way, Srila Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj wanted to help Prabhupada all the time. He always wanted to fulfill the desire of Prabhupada all the time. How many incidents I can speak? One or two I can project because time cannot permit. One or two incidents I can permit. One day he went. In North Bengal, North Bengal one place, Koch Bihar. The name is Koch Bihar. The king of Koch Bihar died, the queen is still there. Maharaj going there for preaching. When Maharaj was invited inside palace, the queen thought he needs some beggar, uh, sannyasi, well, maybe he needs some money. Yes. Going to bring some money to give to Maharaj. Maharaj says, foolish number one, queen. I am not coming to you for money. I am coming to deliver you. Queen was heavy personality. I am coming to deliver you. You have fallen so. I don't money. Queen was very surprised and very politely speaking. Oh Maharaj, up to now nobody going to seek my benefit. Up to now, nobody going to seek my personal benefit. My I mean my spiritual benefit. You are the first one. Everybody going to flatter me to get money from me. But you are the only person. Everybody coming, oh Queen. Uh, I like to, okay, it takes. Everybody going to flatter, apply some oil and take some money from me and go. But you are the only person who are going to seek my spiritual benefit. 
I submit I may head unto a lotus feet. Looking at Maharaj, if you're looking at Maharaj, you can feel some reaction. So many incident, so many incident, I have no time to speak. After Prabhupada gone, Maharaj was, Maharaj was feeling so many pain inside her. What they are doing? What they are doing? They are going against Prabhupada, making separate group. This, oh my God. Better I cannot stay here. He gone to Orissa, Puri, Puri, Puri. Went to Puri under the guidance of Haridas Thakur. He wanted to start bhajan. And very often, coming to take the darshan of Jagannath, taking the doing bhajan. And the queen of Urissa, one state, Urissa, queen, she was also feeling reaction. She coming, donating some land to make temple. Near Haridas Thakur temple, you can find one land. There the temple of you know, Siddhanti Goswami Maharaj, whose name was Siddha Sarup Prabhu. Whose name was Siddha Sarup Prabhu. He was from a very high class family in Bangladesh. By the preaching of Bharti Maharaj, by the preaching of Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj, he came to attend Gauriya Mat. Well educated from a high family. Very. Until then, Siddhanti Maharaj, his name was Siddha Sharup Prabhu. Long history, I have no time to speak. Siddha Sarup Prabhu. Finally, he took sannyas from Ashram Maharaj, from one Ashram Maharaj. Who took sannyas from Prabhupada? He took sannyas. After that, you know, he started doing bhajan with Bharti Maharaj. I mean, in his whole life, Siddhanti Maharaj speaking that Bharti Maharaj is my Siksha Guru. You know Siksha Guru? Whole life. Whole life, Siddhanti Maharaj speaking. That Bharati Maharaj is my Sikha Guru. Even after watching some turmoil, turmoil you know, turmoil condition after Pobat gone, he took decision to go to home. Bharati Maharaj again going to his home. Hi, come, come. Don't stay out, come. You are now, you are going to take renounce order, Brahmachari, no, come. He already gone. Again, by the help of Bharati Maharaj, again he come back. You stay with me. Till then, he was staying with him. But when our Bharti Maharaj took Bhakti, Vivek Bharti Maharaj took decision to do, to do solitary bhajan, then our Siddha Saru Prabhu, I mean our Siddhanti Maharaj, wrote one letter to him. If you like to save me, otherwise I can commit suicide. If you are not going to give your association to me, one letter he wrote. If you are not going to give your association to me, be sure I am going to die. After reading the letter, he is shedding tears. Well, I am not thinking about my personal desire, I can go. Actually, he and Siddhanti Maharaj, both of them, mainly Bharti Maharaj, going to establish Sri Saraswat, Saraswat Mission, Asan and Mission, Mission and Asan in Hajra Road, Calcutta, South Calcutta. Make one temple, very small. Navadip also, you can find one temple, while going to Navadip station, there is one, Radha Bajar, Radha Bajar there, Siddhanti Maharaj temple. And make a, f a few temples here. They are making temple, install deity, doing bhajan. Both of them, I can come to the point of Siddhanti Maharaj, not I am touching, because it can take long time. Bharti Maharaj always helping Siddha Sarup Prabhu, I mean Siddhanti Maharaj, to do seva. By joint venture, almost by joint venture, they are going to publish Upanishad, different Upanishad, main Upanishad, 
ईशो केनो ईशो केनो प्रश्नो तत्तरियो तत्तरियो छांदोग्गो डिफरन उपनिषद नेम दे पब्लिश विथ कमेंट्री एंड इन द लिविंग वाइल पोपाद वाज डूइंग पोपाद वाज मैनिफेस्टिंग सिक लीला or maybe even before that pavad wanted to write one commentary on the basis of the commentary of baladev fine fine follow what i say on vedanta on vedanta pavad wanted to write a nice very easy commentary because everybody cannot understand baladev vidhaus in commentary baladev vidhaus in commentary is very nice is gorya bashya but still Papat wanted to make it simplify. On behalf of Gauri Math, nobody took care to do it, but our Bharti Maharaj and said, "I have that Vedanta. I have different kind of Vedanta, not one. This volume of Vedanta I have. Big volume of Vedanta. Gauri Vasya, this I know. Okay, mostly Gauri Vasya." so this way actually they are successful to fulfill the desire of sela bhakti siddhant saraswati goshami tag bhagavan long history i can remember some incident i heard from bhakti sharan tibikam maharaj bhakti sharan tibikam maharaj i heard bhakti sharan tibikam maharaj he was the disciple of prabhupada Rest of his time, he was he took decision to stay with Sela Bhakti with the Madhav Goswami Maharaj and Bhakti Purnot Puri Goswami Maharaj. And later on, Guru Maharaj gone with Bhakti with our Bhakti Bala Tithu Goswami Maharaj. I mean Chaitanya Gauri Maharaj. He used to love me very much. He told me I was the sevak of Bharti Maharaj. He told me I was the sevak of Bharti Maharaj. popat popat very often used to appoint one sevak for bharti maharaj because bharti maharaj body is very long tall figure tall figure he is always busy he wrote commentary of shrimad bhagavad gita so many books he wrote i have his book with me his body was so tall figure it is not possible to do everything like washing cloth ha eh? a cooking because is heavy body na with so heavy body he is and cannot make up time so popad used to always used to allow one sevak follow what i say it was a system it was a system popad always used to allow one sevak to sab bhartima because he is the exalted devotee what wrong in it but no sevak can stay but no sevak can stay with bharti maharaj because bharti maharaj is so punctual if you if bharti maharaj speaking mohan mohan if you are not going to give response he can slap you idiot <laughs> i heard i wrote i wrote one article because devanand go and request me i say maharaj not speaking so many but well, maharaj used to love you he left after maharaj gone i wrote one an you know, article on his memory in his memory follow what i heard from bhakti wala chitta gosi maharaj what i heard from you know bharti maharaj what i heard from other devotees i collect like in you know, a honey bees i collect and compile very nice very nice Maharaj also used to love me. He used to bless me. I know you have nothing. You are penniless. I am in Dasasan. I cannot speak lie. He bless me, Maharaj. Whatever you like to do, you can come out successful. He bless me. I know you have no bank account. You have nothing. But whatever you plan to do, seva, you can do it. He bless me. He gave me one prasad. kipa stick he giving me his stick he used to his stick he give me stick mean umbrella maharaj used to use the umbrella this this 
that umbrella, Maharaj, before leaving body, Tibikam Maharaj. Tibikam, I am not speaking about him. Tibikam, give order, Sambhava, I, I was in Vindavan, I come, I was the last person to speak Harikatha. Finally, took body at 12 o'clock, I run, because I come from Vindavan. When I go, there is Sambhava coming, you speak Harikatha. Yes. I am the last man to speak Harikatha. After that, his Sevak speaking, Maharaj, leave one thing for you. Prasad. What is that? Give umbrella. Umbrella means he is giving me shed. That umbrella is there with me still today. I keep very carefully. That Tibika Maharaj in his boyhood, boyhood man, 12 years, 15 years, 16 years, he used to serve Bharati Maharaj. He was appointed by our Prabhupada. But whatever save up, Prabhupada is going to appoint for Bharati Maharaj. Nobody can stay. Because they cannot maintain punctuality. They are chanchal. And Maharaj is to slap him. They go away. I cannot stay. Again, new sevak. He is beating me out of love. He should grow sincerity. I am speaking all rubbish to that idiot backside you. No sincerity. My Harikadi is over. He is not contact me. So I become angry. Angry is naturally. It is your duty to contact me. So this is their sincerity. They are doing Guru Shiva. Tibikama speaking, Bharti Maharaj externally was very angry. Angry man, but not angry. Inside heart, a flow of prema. But Bharti Maharaj never beat me. Tibikama, I mean Mohan Prabhu. Tibikama speak me in my whole life. I am serving Maharaj for a long time. Not even a single time Maharaj beat me with stick. Never. Never beat me. I was successful. This way, Bharti Maharaj externally very harsh, very heavy personality. But those who are, those who are you know, having the chance to come in front of him, to hear him, to deal with him, Harikatha, they know it's very sober personality. Very sober person, externally very harsh, externally very strict, but internally very, very, very soft personality. So in Calcutta, many times I've been there to buy books, this, that. I went there. Sharashat, Mission and Ashan, I went there. I saw the deity of Bharti Maharaj, Siddhanti Maharaj, very often I went there. His preaching is really exclusive preaching. All you are successful to fulfill the desire of Prabhupada. Even after Prabhupada gone, he used to go to different place with Siddhanti Maharaj. Two God brother, Siddhanti Maharaj used to say, he is my Shiksha Guru, whole life, right from the beginning. Because Bharti Maharaj is going to take him from home and bring up to the last moment. You are staying with him all the time. So nice. He is speaking, na? His voice was so heavy. His voice was so like thunderball, you know? His voice was so... He wrote one nice, you know, poetry. He wrote one nice poetry, long poetry, one book. Long poetry he wrote. Like our Rabindranath Robin, Thakur, our Rabindranath Thakur, the Nobel laureate. Rabindranath Thakur, you heard the name? Yeah. Eh? Nobel laureate. He wrote, he wrote Gitanjali, one poetry. Small book, I have the book. For that Gitanjali book, he was given Nobel Prize. He was also given night, night, from England, he was English people giving night, but he lived night. He quit. I cannot take this title because you are doing operation against Indian people. He lived. He lived night to body. Night, one title. He lived. Anyway, he was given. Rabindranath Tagore was given Nobel laureate, but who is going to give Nobel Nobel Prize to Bharti Maharaj? Originally, 
Rabindranath Tagore wrote in Bengali. After that, he translated. But who can give Nobel Laureate, Nobel Prize to him? Nobody there. Even big, big king in South India, here, there, they are not giving. You know. But Pope are giving. Pope are writing one big letter. Blessing letter. And it was printed in Gauriya. Before taking sannyas, his name was Nayana Viram Prabhu. Before taking sannyas, his name was Nayan of Hiram Prabhu. Nayan of Hiram Prabhu. Follow. Nayan of Hiram Mane. If you look at any if you look at him, you can bring some you can feel some is some automatic cooling effect inside your heart. Nayan of Hiram. By watching the appearance of Baba Maharaj, you can feel some satisfaction. Aha. That's called Nayan of Hiram. Mane is giving enjoyment to your eyes. If you look at Maharaj, it can give some sort of enjoyment. Oh. So his name was given by Popa Nayan Aviram. And in a letter of appreciation, letter of glorification, he is blessed. And Popa gave him sannyas very shortly. He, Popa writing one bad, what writing? Bharti Maharaj. Srila Bhakti Vivek Bhartima, his writing is approved by Bhagavan. Popa speaking, Vaikuntha Jagat. He is a messenger of Vaikuntha Jagat. Bhartima, our Popa told. Everybody who can take the trouble to go through this force and his you know, verse, poetry, they can come out successful. Popa promise. Papa speaking, I gone through their writing. Excellent. Transcendental. One day, there is a big testing in the life of, there was a big testing in the life of Sila, Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj. One day, he was supposed to speak Harikatha, Bhagavad Katha in Chaitanya Mahat. Long series of Bhagavad Katha. A long series of Bhagavad Katha. In the meantime, he got information that his previous mother and wife coming to attend Harikatha. His previous mother and wife coming to attend Harikatha. And now these are big testing. All Brahmachari Sanyas are thinking he can feel nervous because wife sitting here to hear Harikatha. But Bharti Maharaj is not feeling any nervous. Wife and mother sitting there. Bharti was speaking Harikatha. Uh, now in renounce order, even cannot talk with him, cannot look at her. Follow. This way, there was different kind of testing came in the life of Sila Maharaj. But all the time, Maharaj was successful. We are really proud. I am not, I have no time to discuss the sloka I started with. Someday I can discuss. You need not remind me. I can I can discuss. Yashasti Bhakti Bhagavati Akin Chana Sarva Gunis Satru Shama Sati Sura. This sloka is totally applicable. This sloka is totally applicable in the life of Sila Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj. Hundred percent matching. Not for everybody. Yashasti Bhakti Bhagavati Akin Chana. Sarva guna is tatro shama sati suraha haro avakta shakuto mahadaguna mano rathena shato dhavato vi jashasti bhakti devagoti yakinchana sarva guna is tatro shama sati suraha haro avakta shakuto mahadaguna mano rathena shato dhavato vi Bancha Kalpatur was sick of us in the Babisha, but Titan and Babon and Babishna, Bionamon.